So now we're going to learn about the slice data structure, and I'll create. And so a slice in many other languages is uh, known as an array. And Go also has arrays, but we don't use them most of the time. We just use a slice. Slice is more convenient. And underlying the slice are arrays, is an array. And, uh, and as the slice, arrays, arrays uh, will not dynamically change in size, whereas a slice will as you add values to it. So uh, underlying the slice is an array. So you create a slice, and then an array gets created to hold the data behind the scenes. And if you add more data to the slice, if the array is not big enough, the old array, a new array is created, the old array is thrown, all the values from it are copied into the new larger array, and then the old array is thrown away. So there's a performance cost. But at the usability level, it's really easy to create a slice. And what you need to know just from the outset is a slice holds values of the same type. Values. So far, we've seen we could have x colon equals 42, y colon equals 43, right? But we have no way to group those together. With a slice of int, so I'm going to just do like a slice of int, x, i. x is kind of like a slicing, right? They slice each other. I could have a slice of int, and this is known as a composite literal, and we'll use them to create all kinds of data types. So you have the type, curly braces, Elena. This is important. I've said a lot of stuff tonight, kind of fire hose people with a bunch of information. But this is something you got to take away from tonight, is a composite literal. To make a data structure, a composite, compose together values of different types, composite, compose together values of different types, to, co to make a composite data structure, we use a composite literal. It's the easiest way to do it. So we have the type and then curly braces and our values. So the type is a slice of int. That is the type. And I put in the values, x, y. So I'm now storing those ints in that slice of int. And I could print that out, slice of int. And I could also look at the type of that. Oh, I should have called it xo because of sign off, hugs, kisses, right? xo, xo. Now I'm going to run this. So uh, I stored 42 and 43. And I have the type slice of int. That's what xi is. Its type is slice of int. If I look at the type of x and the type of y, I have int int slice of int. Maybe it makes more sense to have this down here. And then I'll print it out. All my declarations up there. I could go fump to my code. Formatted it, didn't change it. So I want you all to make a slice of int, just like this code, and uh, store some values in it and print it, okay? Let's do that. 